Now, I, I want to say a few introductory words before we actually get into the text of uh, lesson number four. Uh, we're going to start talking about the Ten Commandments tonight and next week. Uh, people in general uh, tend to be fairly ignorant of many aspects of the Bible, but certainly one of those is the Ten Commandments. As a matter of fact, uh, most, most people, probably a lot of Christians, maybe most Christians, couldn't even say all Ten Commandments or get them in order. Now, there's probably exceptions to that. I know that. Here's my point. These commandments are very important that you understand what they're all about and what they're not all about. Tonight and next week, we're going to do two basic things. We're going to go over each one of the Ten Commandments as completely as I can with the time limitations I have. Tonight we'll do one through five. To try to communicate to you as clearly as I can the meaning of the Ten Commandments. Because I don't think the average person understands it completely the way it should be understood. And that's my, my job. The other thing we're going to do is talk about the purpose of the Ten Commandments. Because one of the common misunderstandings of the Ten Commandments is that if I will live according to the Ten Commandments and do the best I can, I will go to heaven. And that's wrong. The Ten Commandments were never ever given to show us how to get to heaven. The Ten Commandments were given, as I'm going to show you tonight and next week, to show us that we can't get to heaven on our own and that we need somebody else. And that's where Jesus is going to come in, right? If we can get to heaven by keeping the Ten Commandments, then why do we need Jesus? So I hope to show you that as we go through all this. Now, the other thing I want to say before we get going, because uh, I don't know a lot of you or most of you, the Ten Commandments can create problems in people. Let me explain what I mean. Number one, the Ten Commandments here or there, depending upon what we've experienced in life, can make us feel guilty or angry towards God. Okay? That's normal. That's, I'm going to show you one of the purposes, the primary purpose indeed, of the Ten Commandments is to make you feel bad about yourself. Ooh, what happened to that self-esteem? Because if you don't feel bad about yourself, you won't need Jesus. Okay? So it's going to show you your guilt and that you have not done what God expects you to do. I'm going to show you that. The other thing that can cause a problem with people is God has a way of saying things that people don't like. Right? Yeah. Well, I don't know if I like that or not. Well, I don't know if that will be true with you or not. But there may be some things in here that may not sound very politically correct. Because God's not very politically correct. So I want you to be aware of those things. If you have those emotions in you, of either feeling guilt or anger, or you don't like what he's saying, that's kind of normal stuff. But the most important thing is, yeah, but is that what he says? And if that's what he says, that's what he says. So that's kind of some preparatory thoughts for you as I take you through tonight and also next week. Because all this is in preparation for us to hear the gospel. Okay?